Hello. This is Yesno at the Drag Strip. Uh, recently, we've uh, we did some things. We did a lot of things. Recently, uh, we tried to go to a gun show, ran into a wall of road work, and then we had to go uh, get some equipment for that road work at West Point at the gun store and at the police station. And while doing that, had a little bit of mod conflict issues or maybe just mod issues in general with the uh with the bus and then we got our construction supplies to take care of the road work on the way to the gun show and we uh we came back and we got some cool cars and we got some cool cars to boot so uh i got the uh the base a little situated a little more situated um, and today, uh, well, not today, but in the future, uh, maybe I'm thinking of taking on the uh, military checkpoint because it's a nearby source of probably a lot of 556, I'm, I'm hoping. And then I'll have, or at least some like shotgun suppressors or pistol suppressors or, or some machine gun suppressors, literally just anything, I guess, honestly. Uh... But today, you know, since we're back in back in the base, I, I'm really enjoying being back at the base and being home uh, because I love the drag strip. I, this is my first time being here in this series, and uh, I, I love this place. So some things that I, I've done is uh, I got a new gun out. This is an M4. Uh, the other one was, I didn't really recognize it, and it was really big, but you can see the M4 is like really small in comparison. Um... So I thought I'd just rock something else. I got my drum mag, my 556 drum mag. I figured out how the drum mag switching works. And I got that stuff figured out. I, there's another button for the shooting positions. I'm not really sure what they are. Okay, those don't do anything. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Oh, I got an air code shit. I hope that's like not a problem. Um, oh, look at that. My uh, bullets are actually up there with the HUD disabled. Uh, anyways. Anyways, anyways. So today, uh, we do have some parts. We have a little bit of some stuff to do. Um, I was thinking of doing it off camera, but I'm thinking it'll be kind of cool to do it on camera because this is a cool car. We're going to work on a car and it's not going to be like a, a lame car. We're going to be fixing up the FBI Jeep. And we got some brakes, and we got some engine parts, and uh, this is just from the mechanic shop in West Point over here, where we set up a little outpost right here. Uh, maybe I can put like a... What's a good symbol for this? What's a good symbol for, for like an outpost? Uh... Oh, here, I'll do this one. This is a good one. I can make it bigger. Check this shit out. Oh, that's like the default. as a notch for the default. That's cool. That is always cool. More options. So I'm going to do like a big house. And then look at me. Look at this. Look at this. Gonna be artistic genius. Oh, there's new symbols for like more vehicles. This is new. These were not here before. Look at tow truck. Uh... What car symbol? What car symbol would work good? Maybe, uh... <laughs> Damn, I, this is so difficult, I don't know why. Where's this a regular car? Here we go. Here we go. We're, we're gaming. Oh my god, this is, looks not as good as I... Maybe I can remove the marking? Shit, what am I removing? Uh, whew. crisis averted. This is really starting to. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, sorry. Let's get back into a uh, symbol. There it is. Big house. 
Oh my god, it's like it's tiny. Why did it get so tiny? Was it? What? This is this is this is so tiny. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Shit! 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 <laughs> How do I do this? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, there's the car symbol that I was looking for earlier, too. <laughs> okay, hang on. Okay, hang on, hang on. Uh, I, we're all, I almost got it. This is almost coming to fruition. This is... I, I just need to find the house symbol again. There it is. Okay. Uh, bring that down to like half. Bring this up. Maybe bring this a little more out. I don't want to like put it like right on the house though at the same time. But I kind of. Shit, I kind of have to. Okay. This is so difficult. This is the most difficult thing I've ever had to do in Zomboid. <laughs> Boom. Look at that. Car. House. Car house. That's where the cars live. Car house. Is there like a wrench icon? Is that a wrench? I mean, it, that's a kind of wrench, I guess, but it's not like a car wrench, it's like a plumbing wrench. Okay, okay, we've been fucking around with that for long enough. I'm a little bit on a diet right now. So, it's gonna be uh, soup for lunch and dinner for a little while. Oh, 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 oh. And I learned that with this, I can actually do this. Check this shit out. You take a, an oil filter and a solvent trap adapter. And you make a solvent trap. I'm so hungry. And you have a suppressor. An oil suppressor. And this works on some guns. That works on a... Fucking lot of guns. I can't even. Can I put it on this? Oh, <gasps> wait. Can I put the suppressor on the MP5? How many MP5 extended mags do I have? Or like nine mil? This one has one. This one doesn't have one. This one has one. This has an extended mag, so that's 30 rounds instead of 15. Okay, maybe not yet. We need more mags before we start going all crazy on the on on the MP5. But for now, I can actually put a suppressor on my pistol. And I have, this is Brita's, uh, but I did increase this, the volume of, of guns uh, for the Brita's guns. So they're more in line to vanilla volume settings, if not a little louder. Because I did want them to be a little bit louder than, than default. Damn, look at that. Don't want to shoot it inside though. You gotta keep your booger hook. Off the bang switch. Oh, we got another performance star heavy duty in here. Hang on, I'm gonna. Oh, God, my back! Do I have one in here? Car battery. What's this one? Value tire. Value tire. Mm. 
Wait, was there another one in the trunk? I thought I had more than one. No. Nice. We are cruising in our new car, the S13 Silvia. Uh, we have the model car for this one, but it's a different color, I think. I don't think it's red. But this is a nice color on this car. This red it looks really nice. And I would say we have a spot for it right next to our 300Z, but I just now remembered that our 300Z isn't here. It's at the drag strip, so we got to go get that and bring it back. So that's probably going to be what we're going to do. Uh, so I'm going to put this shit in the back. Maybe I won't do this right now. I can just kind of leave it in the trunk for later. And I didn't even grab the tools that I need to do that so I can grab some more tools. Uh, I can, I can grab some more tools to do that without having to go back to the bus to get my tools or something. Or something, you know, it's not too set in stone yet. But we got to, uh, we're probably gonna have to clear out the, uh, the way to the, the racetrack again. Let's open this soup. I'm at soup. I am at soup. This should be nice. Nice. Oh, that soup didn't make me... That soup didn't do anything. I'm fucking hungry still. Uh, time to eat another can of soup. We're gonna double soup it. This is a double soup. Uh, double. I can't, I can't open it while moving. Okay. Minus 10 hunger. And 160 calories. So we, uh... We actually need to work off some of this weight because we are at 85 flat and if we go up any more we're gonna get overweight again and for some reason I've been struggling to keep it under 85. Try to keep it at 84 but every time I go under 84 I try to like get it back up and then it goes up too much and I don't uh <laughs> and then I'm overweight again. That's sort of in the cycle of madness that's been going on. The eternal cycle of madness. And we actually do have some smokes again, so maybe we can smoke some of our depression away while we're walking. With a hidden HUD. This is going to be a good uh, time for a hidden HUD, just to, uh, this to uh, look cool. The M4 looks so small on my back, dude. It's just all barrel and suppressor and like nothing else. But that's okay, because we don't need a lot of weight, because this thing is actually kind of light. It weighs 5.22 pounds, and I think that's I think that's lighter than uh than the K2. I think that is what I was using before. I I don't know who makes that or what country uses that, so I wanted to go with something a little more familiar. I'll probably pick up the pace, maybe run a little bit, just because uh. I need to exercise, so this is a perfect time to, uh, to do that. This heat is making me thirsty. <laughs> I forgot that I, like, fucking slammed the truck out of the way. Holy shit, there's a lot of shit in here. There's rebar in here. And a saw. I could have just looked in here. There's so much stuff in here. I'm gonna grab that duffel bag. More nice leather gloves. Barbed wire. That's crazy. We have saws. I'm 
Yeah, that was that was a uh, that was a lot of stuff in there. That was a, a lot of stuff. And we just now like found that. I don't like uh, being a. Whoa! How the fuck? There we go. We got some weapons. We got a black mesa crowbar. We got a rebar, and we got a crowbar. Keep the mouse kind of out of the middle of the screen so it looks better. And we actually ran into some zombies. So let's see how the, uh... I want to see how this oil filter suppressor works. Or sounds. This probably isn't going to be too quiet. Oh shit, yeah, they heard that. They heard that. Oh, here we go. Maybe I can trick shot him like this. Come on, you guys. Let's jump over the fence. Ha <laughs> Barriers win again. Waist high barriers win every time. Oh, we got a Waldo hat over here. Just a stray beanie. Like always taking a stray beanie. I lost a beanie on vacation one time. I was really sad about it, and I'm still kind of like bummed about that. And I was like. <laughs> <laughs> that was like 15 years ago. Do <laughs> <laughs> never forget. I'll never forget. So now when I take in stray beanies in video games, it's like I'll never let them go. <laughs> uh, I really need something to eat. Uh, uh, like be this in the head. Uh, dumbass. Just eat something. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think a zero gas. Alright, so now we're gonna go down to the drag strip. Or not the drag strip. I, do I get these confused every single time? Going back down to the racetrack. I still am hesitant to bring it inside the, the racetrack. Because, like, there's still these guys. Oh, there's, like, a lot of them. Is that guy coming over here? Whatever. Oh yeah, now he is, bastard. I saw that. And was low. Did you see that? I reloaded with an empty mag, but I still had one in the chamber, so I didn't have to rechamber it. God damn, they're getting kind of hairy, huh? All right, stacking some some Z's. This isn't what we're here to do, but you know, I will take a chance to clear out a uh, a little bit of a problem. This place is really cool. I didn't do the 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 drag strip too much on camera when I cleared it, but uh. Maybe I will uh, do this do this on camera at some point. I don't want to go too far in though, because then I will be here like for hours. So this will have to be like, kind of split up a little bit at a time.
I think I do like the, uh... I've been using Brita's in, uh, single player, and I've been using, uh... Uh, Vanilla Firearms Expanded, like, in, a, in a server. So I have some experience kind of using both now, but I, I've mostly used Brita's. Um... And I gotta say, I like the, the gunplay of Vanilla Firearms Expanded a lot. Um, I think even a little more. I mean, I love Brita's. I love the guns. I love the depth and all that. But for some reason, the the shooting just feels better. But I also have a way higher aiming skill in server. So that could have something to do with it. But I feel like I'd like those shots where you're like two feet away. Uh, I feel like I almost never miss those with Vanilla Firearms Expanded. So that's just something to consider, you know? I said I wasn't going to go too far in, but I am fucking on a mission to kill these guys. Sorry, but I have to do this. Just wanted to get that last uh, bullet out of the clip, so that way I didn't have to uh, leave a, a non-empty mag. I like, had to like, reuse like nearly spent mags. You know, in, in some games, like there's like uh, a thing where you like have to reload after like every kill, or like after every shot or something. Uh, but Zomboid is really not one of those games. Zomboid is definitely a game where you want every shot to count, no matter how much you have to, like, space out, like, shooting and everything. So I clear out this building. This building is clear. And we'll print it. Ooh. We should probably do another 360 check around the place. Make sure that... It's actually kind of empty over here. I don't know what the respawn settings I have set for, but there's, like, nothing here. I wonder if I made it so that there's, like, respawn is turned off. Because I was kind of expecting having to re-clear this place out again. Never forget this door! That the zombies broke in my quest to save all the doors. Bastards. Maybe that old. Yep. There's that metal rain barrel. I should bring that and put that on top of the, uh, on top of the building that I'm uh, gonna make into like the, the more stationary base. I wonder if I like explore the, uh, the the racetrack some more. I wonder if I'll like find like a a nice little garage on this like on the corner of the track or something, and I can like use that as like a base. That'd be cool because I'd like to have the base maybe here instead of the drag strip if it's got a nice enough kind of building. Not really a whole lot going on back here though. Was low. Hello? You guys back here? I thought there was more than one of you. More than two of you. Nothing back there. So that's kind of... Oh, there's a barbecue back here. I could have barbecues. I can bring that to the base even. If I don't want to like heat cook on the, uh, the oven and like save battery. Because... The last trip actually killed the car battery, so I need to recharge that once I get a, a thing up and running. I know there's a lot of generators here. I see my generators like crazy here. So I will definitely be able to use a generator at some point. Oh, I forgot my... Oh, thank god. Oh, I still have one more mag. Okay. Well, let's get our things refilled real quick. We got one more mag, but I want to refill the current ones. I usually am, I'm really bad at 
at refilling my mags as I use them. So I will instead just like carry like eight of the same mag uh, ammo type uh, or eight of the same magazine, you know? Uh, but yeah. Just gonna stash those back. Just gonna put those back. Just gonna put that back. Alright, look at that. So, currently just making sure this place is clear-ish. Uh, clear around the garages. There's another building over here. I want to see what this building is. Do a little bit of exploration this time. Are there like no zombies? Is this still the dragster? Oh, look at these. Some cool garages. Is there anything out here in these grassy areas? Hello? Holy shit, there's like nothing. There's like nothing out over here this way. So I wonder if I'll see some zombies uh, near these buildings. Oh, there's two garages here. Oh, okay. I gotta be a little bit more careful. One has an open garage. And there's the fence. Oh, fuck. He's by the fence. Holy shit, there's a good amount of them out there. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and approach this kind of stealthily. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Yeah, there they are. Oh, they're in a corner. I can't get around them. Fuck faces. Oh, they're moving. Fall over! Fall over! Hello? Are you good? Fall over! Fall over! Get away from me! Get away! I mean, it's so bad! Die! Die! He said that. I was just saying get away from me, but like the actual fucking text actually said what I was thinking. That is insane. That was that was not me reading that. That was just me saying coming up with like something to say. Oh, we got cabbage seeds. Maybe we'll find some uh some car parts in here. I mean, this is kind of not kind of oh fertilizer. We'll need some fertilizer. There is the stuff heavy duty. Ooh, okay. Performance tire sport, regular tire type standard, performance muffler type, oh, standard. Well, I guess we have some standard cars here and there. Got a wall of stuff. Performance tire type standard. Regular tire type standard. WD-40. Oh, here we go. Regular suspension type heavy duty and spare engine parts. And a performance star type heavy duty. Okay. This place is... This place is pretty happening. 
There's a third garage. Look at them all crowding out the fence, dude. Fucking freaks. Can I shoot them from here? No. I I knew it, dude. They were like out for fucking doors. Look at them. They were like about to start banging on it. Go away. Dude, they're just gonna sit there. Fuck, I really don't want to leave that. Oh, I can hit them. I'm almost in their range. Dude, look at them all. Uh, go away. I don't want to shoot that one. Paint's a different target. No, these are like my only two options. Is that the pink one or that one? And there's more of them coming over here. Dude, there's so many more coming over here. Look at them! They're just... They're just fucking drawn to the fence, dude. Yep, come... Come stand by the fence, everybody. You're doing good. Just keep standing by that fence a little... A little longer. Yep, just keep it up. You're doing great. Okay, I'm not gonna do this shit today. Holy fuck. There's like more every time I turn around. Jesus. <laughs> There's like more every time I turn around. Okay, since this door is the farthest, I'm just gonna grab some stuff out of this one and be like in and out. I don't want to hang out here for too long. Oh, I don't want to grab a tire. I really want this engine parts and this heavy duty suspension. This heat is making me thirsty. Another heavy duty suspension. Maybe I can try and grab a tire. I might actually have room for that in my backpack. Yeah, I'm just gonna cram this tire in my little backpack. It's cool. Everything's good. Alright, let's get let's get out of here. I am soaked and slap. Did I just rip my clothes? I feel like I did. If I ran through something. No, it's good. Dude. You gotta just keep crowding it around the fence, you guys. Oh, fuck, I got action music. Does that mean something happened? No, they're not, uh... Oh my god, there's like 20 of them over there. I'm so hungry! So hungry! Okay, we're going back to the, uh, garage. The garage area, and then we are, uh... This heat is making me thirsty. We're going back to the garage area, and we're gonna get heavy-duty car parts for our, uh, FBI Jeep. So I did a 360 on this area, and it looks clear, so I think we'll be alright.
Did I not open these? Oh, probably only from the front. Action music. Who? Who said that? Who said the action music started? I need a break. <gasps> oh, cigarette. Maybe have a couple of them. Maybe a two smoke break. Two smoke, smoke break. Double smoke. Endurance is full. Yes, I heard you. Stop saying that. I get it. Look at that, dude. Just like that, we have full fucking stamina to go sprinting again. Quick break is awesome. Or quick rest. I don't even know what you call it. But it's great. Just listening to see if there's any zombies that spawn in the nearby garages. I've already been through all these, but you never really know. You know, the game may not just do what it should be doing. Sometimes it just does what it wants to do. A lot of the times it does what it wants to do. So never, uh, never, uh, take it lightly. Performance break type standard, mud average muffler standard. Make sure the back door is unlocked. There's a generator. I mean, I know we have tons of generators in here. It's tire heavy duty. I'm gonna put that on the ground. Regular tire type heavy duty. I just need any like heavy duty tires on the shelves because they're gonna be brand new. And uh that's like fucking huge, honestly. This is something hundred percent condition uh tires. Like, no matter what, like, uh, standard or, or, performance or whatever. Uh. Uh. Thank you. More fertilizer. Spare engine parts. Regular suspension, heavy duty. Oh, shit. I'm getting full. I gotta run this back. Average muffler type heavy duty. Eh. Average. You know, I wonder, maybe not this time, but next time I can, uh, I can, uh, like, go around the outside of the, of the, of the racetrack and sneak up on those zombies that way or something. We are really heavy, so I don't want to just kind of hang out out here. Although I am. <laughs> I don't want to do what I'm doing already. This place is very populated. 
like very popular. This is taking a little bit of time to clear out. That's pretty good. That was only out, out of like two garages. And there's another tire in there. So maybe I'll do like one more trip, grab that other tire. And then I will uh, start heading back. I really like this uh, racetrack. This place is really cool. I'm glad I get to be back here again. This is the first time actually being back on the racetrack in like 10 episodes, it feels like. Yep, man's most at ease when he's laying rubber on the track. Yep, holy shit. <laughs> what did I just walk into? It felt kind of like a weird place to be in. I don't know why. Is this where I put the tire? I don't think so. I think it's in the next one over. Man, I could use a lie down. Oh, I just fucking ran right past it, didn't I? This gnawing hunger is driving me nuts. This is heavy. Come on, I just need to lose a little bit of weight. There we go, it's going down. Down at 85. Let's keep going. Come on, let's go. The sun is going down. Dude, I feel like there's something in these trees right here. You're in there. Come out with your hands up. I'm coming for you. All right, that's it. That's all I'm. That's all I'm gonna investigate. for one more. One more tire. Alright, we got our inventory figured out. We got the 300Z back. Let's get out of here. We are almost out of gas. Damn, this thing turns pretty good.
No. <laughs> That's okay. It looks alright. Reverse donuts. Let's park it right next to the 300 or the S13, eh? Check it out. Check it out. Blue 300Z next to the red S13. The couple of uh, Nissan Bros right here. That's cool. Alright, let's get back inside. Gonna do a little bit more exercise on the way back to the bus. Maybe. Wait, I I drove through that same tree not that long ago, and it didn't affect my car. But when I just hit that tree today, I hit it. So, what the shit is that? Dude, this is a long walk. I'm like run walking and this is a long run walk. <laughs> I'm soaked. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Might have me a TV dinner. Turn the settings to... Uh, one hot. Or this one. I don't know how long this is going to cook it for. I guess we're going to find out right now. Holy shit, that's cooking fast. Damn, this is cooking really fast. Oh, nice. Oh, it didn't cook it all the way! Are you kidding me? Twenty nine hunger, plus ha unhappiness. But I cooked it. They're not TV dinners aren't that bad that they make you more unhappy when you eat them. That's kind of, I don't know. I mean, maybe I don't know. I'm just gonna go with I don't know. That was pretty good. I mean, apparently not. It made you fucking sadder. I know this place has some snackies. Yeah, look, there's the S13. That one has the uh, the pop-up headlights. And look, there's the 300Z. So we got two cars that we have uh, models for. So how cool is that? I'll grab a can of oats and fruit jam.
have a little bit of oats. Hopefully I'm not losing weight or gaining weight because of that. Nope, it's still losing. Okay. Thank thank goodness. Put this stuff away in my bag. Alright, nice. Alright, so that was a... Uh, that was a... Uh, a pretty uh, good, a pretty good run. A pretty good day. We got a lot of car parts for the Jeep. Um, maybe I'll fix it on camera. Maybe I won't. It kind of depends if I could do like all at once, I guess, and not like spread it out or something. I don't know. Uh, but we we went back to the uh, the racetrack, and we got to do some more zombie clearing. I think definitely on that back fence because zombies love being around doors and fences I've so we've seen many times I would say in this series if you've been uh if you've been watching the episodes in chronological order uh we've seen zombies just hanging out by doors you know sometimes three to four to a zombie and a series of doors there will be just like a zombie at every door and then at fences they love being around fences and especially today there is like there is like 20 of them at that fence at least 20. So, uh... So that was cool to see. Uh, that was interesting. Uh, to say the least, I guess. Uh, maybe we'll... Uh, check out some more of those warehouses. Maybe we'll find a cool little... Track owner house somewhere in the Vardell Raceway, I hope. Uh... But if not, you know, we're just gonna keep on going with our plan to make the base at the drag strip. Uh, so... You know, thanks for watching. Um, I, I've had some people, you know, uh, give some comments, and that's really awesome to just know that somebody out there is, is watching. It. That's that makes me like feel really happy, honestly, just to to have people that find it interesting, interesting enough to watch it and actually say something about it. Uh, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, I guess a little update on the the computer editing, uh, or the, the software video editing thing. Um, I had to use some money. I've been saving it for like some expenses, uh, so I haven't been able to to save a whole lot of money for our laptop. So I, it's gonna be put off a little bit again, unfortunately. Um, I, that really sucks because I really just want to start doing the the things I want to. I want to start making the videos that I want to make. Um. And that's kind of the, the main thing uh, that's holding me back right now. Um, so I might... Uh, I mean, like, the whole reason why I started doing the series, I guess, is to just get more comfortable with, like, talking or whatever. Um, or just anything like that. Uh, so I will... While I, while I will continue it, it might not be at the rate that I was doing before. It might be, like, one to maybe two a week you know um and then when i do when i actually get video editing software i'll be able to do the really kinds of video editing software because this is starting to to slow down for me uh just because this has been going on for for a while i guess and i really want to uh to progress to the next kind of step you know um and i've kind of done all i can without video editing software uh, so maybe like, no, I guess that's kind of it, you know, I mean, I don't really have much to add to that is, uh, I've been doing the unedited stuff and I, I, I might not do as much unedited stuff until I get video editing software. Uh, that's kind of, that's kind of the sentence. That's it. That's like, um, but yeah. So anyways, I know there's not a whole, a whole hand a whole lot of people you know that are uh subscribing and that's okay because you know it's the channel's growing it's gonna get bigger and bigger but for the people that are here and the people that are watching that is that is really awesome that is you know thank you thank you for thank you for being there and to the creators of the mods that i i've used in my in my videos 
or my worlds, you know, thank you guys for thinking for making your mods that you make. Uh, shout out to Mr. Danny making the Porsche 911 Turbo that the thumbnail uses. He uh, he still updates that regularly. So, so thank you, Mr. Danny. Thank you for for just being cool and being chill. All right, and now, see ya.